Hello, and welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to continue with a series of uh, our series of Ginga Kogan beers, uh, and we will look today at Ginga Kogan Dunkelweizen, and this is a newer one from them. Uh, the first ratings on Rate Beer came out in 2018, so uh, it is fairly new. Uh, Ginga Kogan is best known for their wheat beers. Uh, they're unfiltered Weizen uh, and they're unpasteurized Weizen as well, two different types there. And they also make a very tasty uh, Weizen Bach. Uh, and Ginga Kogan has been around for a long time. Uh, they uh, started in the early 90s and uh, they were everywhere in Japan at that time. You could find them all over the place. Uh, um, and they expanded perhaps a little bit too quickly and a slump came and they were kind of caught up short and uh, eventually ended up uh, selling to Yahoo, which is the largest craft beer brewery in Japan, the uh, brewers of Yona Yona Ale and Aoni IPA. And so they uh, were, uh, they merged into uh, Yahoo Brewing. And then Yahoo uh, sold a percentage to of, uh, of their own company to Kirin, which is one of the big four breweries in Japan, major brewery company. And so uh, Ginga Kogen and Yahoo both are not entirely independent. However, I don't think that it has made any difference in the brewing process and the eventual product either for this beer. Um, so this is one of their newer ones, uh, 2018. And uh, so on Rate Beer, it has only two ratings uh, and a average of 3.02. Uh, but uh, the ratings, both of them are a little bit higher than that average here. It does not have any percentile ratings for beer, all beer, or or its style. Um, let's give this a go, okay? Uh, Dunkelweizen simply means a Weizen, of course, with a, a darker malt, uh, roast, more roasted malt. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so it does pour out a rather, uh, rather dark, uh, not quite, not entirely opaque, but not not translucent. It's very cloudy, um, and what we see here is a maybe half a finger of a light tan head. Cannot probably cannot see the carbonation here. Aroma, a banana right away. Kind of light roastiness, some yeast, touch of spice, clove. Very gentle weediness, uh, kind of light cocoa sort of thing. The clove. Uh, Spicy note becomes very uh, apparent right from mid palate. Uh, body is maybe thin, medium, perhaps just a touch watery for for this style here. So overall, I'd say this is kind of mild. Uh, doesn't have a ton of uh, character. It's not bad. It's it's solid, well made, but it doesn't really uh, stand out. I think. Well, overall, I think Dunkelweizen is a uh, kind of small style. I mean, Weizens and uh, uh, wit beers and that sort of thing. There, there are you know, hundreds of those, if not thousands. Here, Dunkelweizen. Not everybody makes one of these. Here, Ingo Kogan does, and they didn't do a bad job here. I think. Again, this is Ginga Kogan Dunkelweizen, and you may find this in uh, larger liquor stores now, uh, such as Yamaya or Liquor Mountain in Japan. 
Uh, I do not know if this is exported uh, at all, uh, but it may be. Uh, and you can go in and does some export work, that's for sure. So uh, here you can see it says Muroka, which is unfiltered, and that's where we get all this uh, cloudiness in there. So Ginga Kogan, Dunkel Weizen, and check it out. You may want to uh, uh, leave some comments for me. I would appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel if you would like to know more about uh, Japanese beer, uh, both craft beer and major company beers as well. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.